let's find the length of this parametrically defined curve. Uh, x is equal to t cubed, y is equal to 3 over 2 t squared, and t is between 0 and the square root of 3. So to get going here, we need to remember that to find this length, we're going to be integrating the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared with respect to t. So I guess before I get started, I'm going to need to take a few derivatives. So let's go on and find dx dt and dy dt. Not too terribly difficult to differentiate here. All right, so I get 3t squared and I get 3 times t. I'm going to go on and just think about what the integrand is going to look like, so I'll have an easier time integrating. So I need dx dt squared, which would be 9t to the fourth. I need dy dt squared, which would be plus 9t squared. Just looking on the inside there, I know I could factor out a 9t squared, giving me a t squared plus 1. And I could take a square root. I get 3 times technically the absolute value of t, but I know t is positive, so I can just write the t there. And then I'm left with t squared plus 1. And so there's my integrand. So the length of this curve is the integral from 0 to root 3 of 3 times t times the square root of t squared plus 1 dt. And I look at this and I think I can proceed with a substitution. I think I can let u equal t squared plus 1 du is then 2t dt, letting me make my substitution. All right, I'm going to change my bounds, plug in a 0 for t and u is equal to 1, plug in a root 3, and that top bound is going to be 4. Let's see, I have 3 times t times the square root of u, and then du over 2t. The t's cancel. I have a 3 over 2 I can set out in front of my integral. And now I'm just integrating u to the 1 half. All right, so let's see. That's going to be u to the 3 halves times a 2 thirds. Well, the 3 halves and the 2 thirds will cancel, and let's see. I'm going to end up with 4 to the 3 halves, so that is 8, and then 1 to the 3 halves is 1. And I get the arc length of this curve must have been 7.